Uh, what a computer is to me is it's the most remarkable tool that we've ever come up with. And it's the equivalent of a bicycle for our minds. This is part two in Computergram's video series on how to refurbish and recycle computers. Okay, so you can see these three slots here. This is called the RAM, or as you know, it's called Random Access Memory. Very easy acronym. And so it's just these three memory sticks here. They're called uh, inline memory modules. And the RAM access, the RAM uh, works as the primary access to the storage. It's faster to access than the hard drive that Toby showed you earlier. And typically there's less RAM than there is memory in the hard drive. So the way that you take it out is real easy. You have these two levers on each side of the stick. You just press them out sideways. RAM stick pops up, remove it, real easy. Do that for these three sticks. Okay, and the way you put them back in, it's pretty simple. See this little notch here? It should align with this notch at the bottom edge of the RAM stick. Make sure that aligns. And then it should just slide back in. And then push it down at the edges. And then the levers will click back in place. If you don't click that, if you don't hear that click, that means it's not inserted correctly and you won't have that memory when you start up. So next is the CPU. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, this does not look like a microchip capable of doing millions of computations per second. And that's because it's not. This is the CPU fan and underneath the CPU fan is the heatsink. And the heat sink is a bunch of parallel metal plates and it's used to disperse heat more easily. But underneath all of that is the CPU itself. Now, usually, the CPU should not have that many problems. The CPU case fan might, but the CPU itself shouldn't. But either way, uh, I'll show you how to take it apart. So first, let's say you need to remove a CPU fan. Well, we can see here that this is the CPU fan and it's connected to the motherboard through a connector and this supplies power to the CPU. Uh, so first you would take this off and then if you can tell there are four little screws here that uh, connect the CPU fan and heatsink to the CPU itself, uh, to the motherboard itself. So you would have to first unscrew those. now have the heatsink and fan. This is the fan. This is the heatsink. And so this is how you replace this component. And uh, you might be noticing that there is this strange gray mush on both the heatsink and on the CPU itself. And this is thermal paste. Thermal paste makes sure that there is no pocket of air between the heatsink and between the CPU so that there's more efficient cooling. But anyway, this is the component that you'll most likely be replacing. But in the event that you do have to replace or even upgrade a CPU, what you do is there's a little clasp here. You can see you push down, you pull out, and then it simply gives away and you can now pull out your CPU. So this, the CPU itself, you have to be very careful with how you take it out. So this is the CPU. Uh, this is the microprocessor that um, powers your computer really. It does all the computations, the decision making, the controlling. Uh, and so, once again, usually you don't have to replace this, but in case you have to, this is how. Now, uh, now that you've taken out a CPU, there's a particular way you have to orientate it when you put it back in. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but there is an arrow on the CPU. There's an arrow on one specific corner, and there's also an arrow on the CPU socket, the uh, little, I guess, holes full of pins where you connect the CPU to the motherboard that also has an arrow. So there's an arrow here 
there's an arrow here on the motherboard. And so what you do is you orientate it. The corner where the CPU has an arrow goes to the corner where this also has an arrow. And so what you do is you very gently, very carefully orientate it. The corner with the arrow goes to the corner with the arrow. And you very gently put it in, making sure you don't bend any pins. Like that. You push down and to the side. And lastly, and this is also the most error prone component of your computer, is the PSU, the power supply unit. And taking apart the power supply unit is very simple. It's simply screwed on the case. So you can see here, it's screwed on here, 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 and here. And you would simply unscrew these four screws and the entire PSU would be simply be able to be pulled out and replaced. Uh, and so this is how you solve any hardware problem where you have to replace actual components. Uh, and if you have other problems concerning things such as software, you can just look at our other videos. This is the second video in Computergram's video series on how to refurbish and recycle computers. If you want to know more information about the primary steps in refurbishing a computer, you can check out part 1. If you want to know more about the software aspects, you can check out part 3. This video was brought to you by Computergram. We are a mission statement by the 501c3 nonprofit organization We Care Act. Computergram is committed to promoting computer literacy and electronic recycling. If you want to find out more information about both topics or the various seminars and programs that we have, you can check us out on computergram.co. You can also find information on additional programs at wecareact.org.